What's up guys and on this particular episode we are going to talk about two of the previous disciples of TV Joshua which is Yinka and Anne who have just been seen in celebration between Christmas and the New Year over in Lilonga, Malawi very recently in another church and so uh, the out idea uh, seems to be coming up here and we're gonna have to address it we are in a new set okay <laughs> we're gonna have to address this and we had to address this <laughs> and so we're gonna go ahead and talk about some of the recent happenings particularly with their uh, recent uh, visit over in Lilonga, Malawi which is Bushiri's home turf I wonder if they met him Make meeting Chalatan your, <laughs> your entire fajers. This is the Rick Chalatan show with the daily Christian commentary videos. My name is Alule, the detective for this particular channel. We deal with Christian based topics on this channel. You like this kind of content? Subscribe to the channel. Uh, give this video a like. If you follow me on WhatsApp, that number up there, you know this kind of sets. Take a bit of time, even though they might look a little bit easy, just setting up and everything, but absolutely love it. That's why we make uh, videos in this format. And so let's get into talking about this particular one. So their recent uh, invitation over to Malawi, uh, it actually went back to this present day subject that we've been talking about, about whether any of these guys or the previous disciples from the Church of Scorn over there whether they are still a, a part of the scorn under brand new leadership with uh with evelyn over there now over here i kind of like drafted a little bit of what we've seen over the last couple of uh, months as you might put it uh first uh you have uh the leader who is deceased which is tb joshua you see him a little bit elevated over there and then after his deceased that's his present state and now evelyn took over there was caught entire jazz that went on over there it was hectic at scorn uh, I, I could i could only imagine it was pretty hectic over there at scorn and then she took over the leadership role from that part after the husband had uh, deceased and be, had been deceased and they did a service in that period and that service only one person we saw after the other disciples who have established their own ministries like Daniel, Christopher and John Chi. This particular wise man here by the name of uh, Rossi, he was there he showed up, I think he's from France originally, he was married over there, but he went back uh, into thinking. But he was there for that service and we thought maybe he will leave, you never know. But he recently also was then uh, put to a little bit of a task, I think it was some form of prayer and stuff like that. I don't know if he's still there, they didn't watch their Sunday service or anything. Now this takes us straight into the other people, which is Yinka and Anne. Yinka and Anne, we heard about their story roughly around the same period when there were the FCC complains that there were people that were trying to defraud money, take out money. Uh, there was an article that spoke about the daughter of the prophet, of the late prophet, which is TB Joshua, who said that there was even video footage of them carrying out something. Now, I don't know if it was them exactly, but they said that some of the disciples which were kicked out. Fine, that happens. And then after that, these are reported to be out. This comes out and then after that immediately, the foreign disciples are also said to be out. These ones, they didn't even come to the memorial service. Okay, that's kind of important to note there. They did not even come to the memorial service that says, you know what? We are not even coming to honor him. He's not there anymore. We won't have to be under that particular roof. We're not leaving our countries to come over there to be harassed by police or whatever it is that might go on once we are there. So they haven't come back. And so all of them at the present state, they are out. Uh, Evelyn sounds like she's also pleading for the others to come back completely out. These are not just out. These are out and gone. It's out and gone because they have been seen associating with other people at this period either than scorn okay they've been associating with other people outside of scorn and that might be a hint to say what we are establishing our own footing yinka has actually even started a little bit of a charity thing under her own uh ministry over there uh and i don't know if she has an instagram i think i saw something that uh one particular youtube channel if you don't know dolphin she um she actually posted something 
uh, and I think it was a page that uh, Anne has. Remember, these guys didn't have any social media activity when they were at scorn by the time of the leader, TB Joshua. And so for her, if she does have, that might mean she's completely out and gone, as I am stating. So they might not be coming back because of that. Now, will they come back? People change their minds over time. Some people, people can decide, you know what? Um, I, I know I said this, but I'm going to uh, kind of calm it off a little bit. And so they might change their mind. But at the present state, they didn't even want to celebrate Christmas over there. They didn't want to, to celebrate the New Year's crossover, which are very big services for people within this Profeto, Profeto ministries and stuff like that. So if they didn't go, why would they go now? And so that's the present state of what happened after the departure of the leader TB Joshua. And her wife and his wife uh, took over. And at the present stage, she is the one that's leading the church. Racine has been seen coming back, is kind of like willing to associate with the present state of leadership. While as Anne and Yinka, Anne is establishing her own ministry, and uh, they were seen both of them in Malawi very recently visiting Lilongwe, the homeland of the big provovo. <laughs> but there are other disciples, these are just few. Uh, there are other disciples who were foreign disciples who exited after the 17th were announced uh, to have left, who are not back, who are not seen anywhere, and we don't know exactly the activity. Maybe very soon they will make themselves known all about where their whereabouts are at and so forth. And so that's the present state, is that they have not only uh, left uh, synagogue, but they have been seen associating with other ministries, they are doing their own thing, and they are not going anywhere close to the leadership of SCON at the present state. And so that's what I wanted to bring out to you guys. It's the Rikshia Show. We do daily Christian commentary videos. If there's any other videos that is done today, they will be down in the pinned comments. So check them out. Give this video a like, a headache to prepare. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how often I can keep up with the board for the detective uh, before we go on. It's Ricky and I will see you later. Check the pink comments and I'll, I'll be good. Be blessed.